Guru Nation, how's it going? I am here with Kevin. You guys and gals remember Kevin from the last video was an instant classic. I knew it would be. <laughs> you had a few like viral moments on there, but now it's three months later. Well, two months. You come every two months here two, to the three. site? Every two, three months. Now you're experiencing Yuma in the heat. It's hot. From San Diego, so what, three hour, three and a half hour drive? Yeah. Sites, CRA, relationships, site best practices. I mean, maybe we need to get you on SOS panel next year, but what do you think site, some site best practices are from, because you're monitoring daily. So from the sites you've seen that do well, not necessarily this study, but just in your career, sites that do well, what, what, are they, what do they usually have in common with each other? I feel like um, that sites that do well, they usually are, um, they're really communicative with the CRA. Like when an excursion happens, they let me know right away. I wouldn't have to wait till I come on site to be like, oh, hey, um, <laughs> <laughs> there's this um, excursion that happened maybe like two months ago. I'm like, what? Did you quarantine your uh, IMP? Did you do this? Did you do that? There isn't like, such a big of a scare when you encounter those kind of things you know yeah those like being proactive the issue with a lot of sites i guess that don't do that is like they wouldn't be aware yeah in, in the first place so that maybe that speaks a little bit to like the qa quality assurance of some of the sites but i know here like in yuma you know it gets hot we've had our fair share of excursions uh, with not just this study, but uh, like a lot of them. Luckily, it wasn't anything significant or major, but we're aware. You know, there's systems now, there's trackers, mm -hmm. there's automated alerts that come to your inbox, to your phone, whatever you want. You can send, we send it to all of our staff. So when there's an alert, they all get it. Now, what's the chance of like all seven of us ignoring it? I mean, it's not that high, right? Yeah. So I think there's like certain redundancies sites can put into place. So speaking of good CRCs, here's our lead CRC. You guys, she's getting like LinkedIn famous. <laughs> Kitty <No>. Welch. <laughs> Caitlin, if you don't know her well, it's Caitlin. Mm -hmm. If you know her well, it's Caitlin. How's it going, Katie? Going pretty good so far. So K and K, you guys work well together. What do you think of uh, Katie? Just honest thoughts. Put her on blast. <laughs> She's good. No, um, she always lets me know when something's going on with the site, or if there's any questions regarding patient um, visits. And or we're just talking about proactive. Yeah. And I relayed a message from Jaime, so we're good. Okay. And I got that patient for Wednesday. We're good. And the other one for Friday. We're good. <laughs> and what do you think about Kevin? I think he's probably one of our. I would say you're probably the best monitor that we've had, just because you always Wait, answer. Ever? Yeah. Or present? No, ever. Ever? Ooh. Because you're always on top of like answering and helping us and getting back to us, and that's what we need from a monitor. Okay. <laughs> um, but you catch a lot of things too that are like should be caught by us but they're not like two bad things but you uh, let us know hold on this is perfect because i just asked you what like sites best practices mm -hmm. so you've worked with good and bad series mm -hmm. already in two years by the way happy two-year anniversary yeah i don't know when it is might be today I, it's i think it's today you actually oh, think it's today I think it's either the 16th or the 17th yeah oh two happy years. two year anniversary all right so in your two years you've seen Maybe a dozen different monitors, if not mm -hmm. a couple of dozen. Yeah. yeah CRA best practices from a site perspective, like in your head, what makes you categorize? This is a good one, this is average, this is bad. Um, I would say the biggest thing is just, I guess like being nice, but also being able to respond efficiently in like a timely manner because Sometimes we need questions right away or we need a call right away and if we can't get a hold of you to like fix something um, or just ask a question in general when we have patients here, then it's like time lost and then it's no good. <laughs> and it makes you work more. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So that's what you were saying for Kevin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I could agree with that too. I, I think so. I think I brought it up in our 
longer podcast also mm -hmm. like one of the better ones she said the best i have to think about that but maybe since i've been you're in consideration man you're yeah, you. <laughs> what is it like being a monitor uh, there's a like CRO sponsor this is like a tough time right now for employment mm -hmm. like a couple years ago it was everyone was getting a job right and now it's kind of cutting back and we're kind of separating like from the herd like the best ones and mm -hmm. certain sponsors you know they pick their team mm -hmm. uh, what have you seen being a CRA in the space like colleagues of yours have you experienced do you know anyone like that have been laid off, or are you guys relatively like safe from that? Um, at least in Ikevia, I feel like we've been pretty much safe with it. But I do have had colleagues where, um, once they're done with working on a trial, once they're working done with a project, they got laid off. Or if a company again um, hires some sort of contracts ERAs, they're probably the first ones to um, also get laid off because they're not necessarily a full-time employee so it has been a struggle in the CRO CRA space but in my personal experience I'm good yeah and I'm just like fortunate to have something that has I guess stability you know yeah I think at the end of the day and by the way shout out to Ikevia they're a SOS sponsor <laughs> and we're, thank you so much Ikevia and we're trying to get them back next year uh, for SOS 2026 or 2025 my bad Oklahoma City they just announced their recent like single sign-on thing one for all or something like that it's called familiar, yeah. yeah that you guys probably don't even know because it's like brand new but I saw something on LinkedIn like one one sign-in basically so something like, like as long as it's an Ikevia study all the vendors will allow like ikevia to manage the sign-in so for the site well that would be amazing you know how many portals we have to log in you guys too right oh yeah you could do you have more portals or less than the crc's like per study oh we have more you guys have more than the crc's yeah so there's just in the monitor monitoring perspective and then there's more um portals there's more vendors where we have to look at it from a performance perspective for us where if we have to issue or if sites aren't issuing enough um, AEs they'll give us a little alert for that or if sites have been um, abnormally ro enrolling a lot more people <laughs> then we have like uh, trackers or like sites to or it's still part of the same thing but um stuff to give us a more um, overview of the trial all together yeah mm -hmm. that's interesting but you guys have less studies to you than the crc's yeah thank god yeah. i always say like you know we're supposed to be the experts on the protocol the pi is supposed to be the expert but really at the site it's the coordinator cra are the expert like from all the stakeholders on the protocol because you're the ones we go to when we have questions so we're supposed to be the experts here at the site mm -hmm. but if we're confused about something we usually go to you mm -hmm. and like i said in that first one man you're always answering your phone like right away first ring second ring <laughs> and you usually have an answer instead of just saying oh well you know let me like get back to you you do that a few times but for the most part you know you're well versed on your stuff and off camera I actually do have this reminds me of a question for you as well from jaime okay as me as the messenger yeah shout out to Jaime um if somebody wants to be a CRA right now right and let's say they've been a CRC two three years do you think now is like the wrong time to do it because of all the short or like freezing of hiring and all that or like what are you seeing are you seeing anything um I think just that persistent um application just sending your um, applications into whatever um, CRO you can get your foot in the door with that would be the uh, thing to do rather or regardless if it's a slow time or a busy time um, just getting your applications out there is like the best thing to do Kevin thank you so much everybody go follow link to his LinkedIn underneath I appreciate it man you got one more day tomorrow too so uh, thank you for coming out here and braving the heat man yeah no problem Catch you later, man. Have a good one.